Okay? So, Emer 24C. That's the standard. And what is that? Read that for me, Bob. Well. Identify strengths and weaknesses in one or more models. All right? What's the correct answer, Correa? Okay. What's the correct answer for uh, number nine? A. A. A is the correct answer. All right? And this student put D, so that's what I'm going to put. Put what you put, though. This student put D. Put your answer. All right? And what I want you to do, take 30 seconds to read question number nine and some of the responses. Particularly your response and the correct response. All right. We got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Tiana. So in this, in this box we're gonna write why we think we got it wrong. Did you just read question number nine? Why do you think you got it wrong? Why do you think you marked your answer? So you, you have A, the correct answer is A, you put B. Why do you think you put B? Because you thought it was right? Jarrell, that's your verb one. Are you sure you can move one? Okay. Do you think anything confused you about the question? The dinosaur? Okay. So the name of the dinosaur kind of confused you? All right. So sometimes they trick you with just big words. The name of the dinosaur had like 16 letters in it. You've never seen this before. Right? So sometimes that's how they trick you. All right? Uh, Shanita, what answer did you have? I don't know. I probably didn't read the document. You're say you didn't read the document? Okay. So that's what we can do better for next time. Is actually read. All right. So we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put Tiana's answer here. Why did I get this wrong? So Tiana said she was confused, confused by wording. So in these kinds of questions, there's a lot of big confusing words. That's what makes and it Hold up. I'll get you in a second. Just listen. There can be a lot of confusing words, right? And we said previously to skim this reading, right? So you have to be really careful when you're skimming for big, confusing words. Because they'll give you a lot of words that are really in there, right? And just because you found the word that's in the answer, in the document, doesn't mean it's the right answer. So it might say the name of this long dinosaur, or another dinosaur. And just because it's in the answer and in the document, you might be like, oh, that's, that must be the answer. But you've got to be really careful to read the sentences in the text right around those words. Absolutely. Not to snatch it up. So what is one thing that we think as a class uh, Tiana could do differently if she's confused by the word? Ms. H just helped us. Riff, go ahead. Sound it out. So sound the word out. Sometimes that definitely helps. <laughs> If you're having trouble comprehending, sounding it out, yeah. figuring out the words around it, things like that. So pay attention to number nine. Yeah. So. Okay. So pay attention to the question. What it's asking you. Pay attention to the question. What's one thing you think you could do differently, Tiana? Absolutely. Use context clues. All right? So what you're going to do, we just modeled it for you. What you're going to do is you're going to choose three more questions that you got wrong. Look into the text and see why you got them wrong. And you're going to answer all of these at a voice level zero. All right? And I'll give you yes. What about our late maternity do not have an answer? Do you want them to do ones that the class mostly are on? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so, you're going to do this at a voice level zero. You got four minutes to do it.